the plush resorts of Egypt's South Sinai Peninsula. Its golden sands, picturesque mountains, and pristine coastline have made this Red Sea Riviera a premier global tourist destination. But away from this multi-billion dollar world of luxury hotels, casinos, and shopping lies a different Sinai to the north. The Sinai Peninsula has been one of Egypt's most prized possessions with its abundance of agricultural lands and potential tourism. But so many of the benefits enjoyed from these industries are rarely shared with the Bedouin population that is now demanding its share of equal rights from a government they claim has marginalized them for years. Bedouins like Yahya Abu Nusayra have felt that firsthand. There are virtually no services. My son, who is entering third grade this year, can't even write his name. There aren't even preschools around here. We don't have community centers. On top of that, we only get water a few days a week. Relations between the Egyptian government and the Bedouins of Sinai are now increasingly tense. The Bedouins say that their traditional lifestyle is under assault. And the government is striking back, accusing the Bedouins of trafficking people, weapons and drugs, often portraying them as disloyal, self-interested insubordinates. Bedouins argue they have been denied economic rights, such as owning land or holding jobs in local industries. They say the government employs excessive force against the tribes, claiming that anywhere between 1,000 and 3,000 Bedouins are held in Egyptian jails, with an additional 10,000 wanted by state security on drummed up or false charges. Bedouin activist and author Mus'ad Abu al-Fagr spent nearly three years in jail for his outspoken criticism of the Egyptian government's dealings with the Sinai Bedouins. Bedouins only want their equal rights in this society. We feel like we're not citizens of this country. Today, we're not even allowed to join police or military academies. This is discrimination, and that kind of treatment creates barriers between us and the state. And breaking through that barrier is exactly what the governor of South Sinai wants to do. He has a development program to extend basic services to the local communities. The Bedouins are part of Egypt's Sinai tourism industry. There are partnerships between the government and them. Once they are better integrated in the tourism industry, they will protect it. We have to offer them basic services. They are citizens just like everyone else. But the Bedouins remain skeptical. They say the government's promises to share the wealth are simply hollow. They have seen nearly 30 years and billions of dollars invested in development all around them, with little to show for it in their own communities, at least so far. Ayman Mohideen Al-Jazeera, Sinai Peninsula.